Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, change or add uh, custom sounds to uh, a, a weapon mod or a vanilla weapon. Um, so yeah, uh, a user by the name of Technique86 uploaded a file to the Nexus uh, recently called JSRS Sound Mod. And it has some really nice gun noises that I wanted to incorporate into some of the weapons I'm using. So I'm going to go ahead and do this real time. But if you don't want to watch a video, you can go to um, the the mod the mod page, and he he's written a a, a quick and but very um, concise uh, article on, on how to do this. So if you want to read, uh, go there. But anyway, let's begin. So first, uh, load the mod or whatever uh, the sound mod or whatever mod you want the sounds from to. Uh, lower than the mod that you want to give the sounds to, right? So for example, I'm going to load JSRS lower than whatever custom weapon mod I'm going to give the sounds to. Uh, if it's a vanilla weapon, I mean, you're going to have, you can't edit the Fallout 4 ECM. You're going to have to, it's going to make you create a new override. And at that point, I mean, it's always going to be lower, right? So first find the weapon that you want to do. So in my case, I want to edit the G11 for demonstration purposes. Uh, open it up, go, oh, uh, first, all right, is add it as a masters, right? So click, right click, add masters, and find the file that you want. If you don't see it, uh, it's either loaded higher in the load order or it's already added. So in my case, let's, I want to use JSRS, so I'm going to click add. Right now, go to the weapon and go to, these are the base weapons, so go to, go to there, and go to keywords add and the keyword you're going to use as um now I, I already looked at the file so i know what it is but um if you don't know uh open up the file so js i'm opening up jsrs right go to keywords and here are all the the keywords uh, assigned to the sound maps so uh they all start with jsrs so that gives me an easy way to find out so right click here JSRS underscore, and I think it was S, right? S40, he uses the same, uh, right. So uh, now they all populate in the uh, drop that menu and you can easily um, pick which one you want. Make sure S underscore 40 is, uh, is there. And there now uh, my G11, the base version of the G11 will sound like uh, whatever P90 uh, sounds that are associated with JSRS S40 P90. Now, um, this is now, if you say this, you're good. Now, however, uh, there are a few uh, weapon attachments that will change the the sound of your weapon. Uh, so, for example, um, most commonly the suppressor, right? So let's go open up the suppressor, uh, muzzle suppressor. Uh, if we look under properties, uh, we're gonna go look for something that adds a key right here. So form ID integer add keywords S20 silence. So so this property uh, changes the sound to the S20, um, uh, whatever sounds are mapped to the, the, the S20 silence keyword. Now, uh, a few mods that I know of um, will also change the, the sound on, on other attachments, uh, some muzzles I've seen. I believe, I believe the G3 by Subleader, uh, I believe the muzzle breaks will change the sound. Um, weapons that do usually do ammo conversions will change the sound. So if you if you added the sound, the the key the keyword to the base weapon, and you go in the game and you shoot it, and it sounds the same, you, there's probably you probably have an attachment that's changing the the sound keyword. So uh, take a note of whatever attachments you have installed, and open it up in Xset and take a look. Right. Um, now you could also uh, do the reverse, or you could do this yourself. By let's say let's say there's a few sounds you like, uh, you can add a keyword to the attachment. So let's, for demonstration purposes, let's go to receiver Ricardo, right? Under properties, we're gonna add, okay, form ID integer, right? Go to add, okay, property keywords, okay, and then uh, the keywords that I want. So uh, J S R S S 40 and then whatever I want. Okay. So now when I attach the receiver called Ricardo, uh, it will have, oops, or yeah, it'll have this, um, 
it'll play the sound when it fires. Uh, and this is another thing is that when you're, you know, this mod has a lot of sounds, so it, it could be quite cumbersome to, you know, exit your game every single time and open up exit to change uh, the sound map. You can do this with what I just showed you by adding them to kind of trivial attachments. Like for example, this G11 has a bunch of Velcros that you can attach. You can just add them to properties uh, like such. Um, uh, so yeah, that is uh, pretty much it. I don't think I missed anything. Okay.